Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, ZYX8 here, and welcome to part 5 of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Let's Play on the Game Gear. And as you can see, we have Tommy on our team now. The Green Ranger is no longer evil, and he is now part of our team. But we're not going to be using him quite yet, as we still have one more ranger from the original team to use. Billy, the Blue Ranger, the holder of the Triceratops. And... Eh, Billy's okay. I mean, most of his moves are pretty cool, but I mean, I don't, I'm just not that fond of him. He's okay, he's not bad. I like Billy. Billy deserves more credit. But yeah, Billy's cool. His Tricera Lance is pretty powerful. The only problem is, it's more of an anti-air than anything else, and enemies in this game don't jump that often. So, yeah. And yeah. And just fighting putties. You know, the common enemy of the show. Every single generation of Power Rangers has their own generation of putties. Regardless of whether they want to be called putties or not, to me, they will always be putties. And some of them like to teleport in and out at times. And yeah. Just kicking ass with Blue Ranger, Triceratops. Billy is the nerd character. He's the... He, he's like... He's sort of like Tails of Sonic the Hedgehog. He's a, he's a nerd who... Not a lot of people would think of as a fighter. As a matter of fact, in the Super Nintendo version of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers video game, um, Billy is often seen like holding his head to protect himself while he's fighting, and it really brings the whole he's a nerd character to, to home. But I mean, Billy wasn't that much of a nerd. I mean, come on. Come on. He's a friggin' Power Ranger. Come on. But anyway, yeah, we're just kicking, well, to be honest, I'm getting my ass kicked here. I got stunned by a goddamn putty, that's damn shameful. And we're just taking our putties in Angel Grove, because apparently Rita Repulsa just still attacks only here. I don't get that logic. If you want to take over the world, don't do it at the central point of where your enemies are. I mean, yes, you probably want to, like, you know, take them out first. But, like, what is this? Like, what is, like... That's stupid, Rita. That's stupid. But anyway, we have defeated Shellshock. Or so we think. You made my gnarly monster fall! Now you'll pay when he gets tall! Oh, God. I don't know how long I can keep doing this. And yes... We get to select the Zord now, now that we have Tommy on our team, and yeah, it's pretty badass, but because we're, uh, excuse me, <laughs> because we have a, cho a new choice of Zord, and because we have the new fellow on our team, Tommy Oliver, and because I'm using Billy, I thought, why not, let's take this opportunity to show off our new combined Megazord the Dragon Zord in fighting mode. And yeah, this is pretty much one of the most powerful um, mechs in the game. It, well, Megazord, I should say. It's one of the most powerful Zords in the game. It's got, like, this little curvy energy thing that does some damage. It's got a Shoryuken, so that's cool. It's got, like, a... It's got like a really cool punch combo thing as its heart attack. It's got the dive kick, and it's got this... Buso Renkin Sunlight Heart Energy Release Dash thing that I love oh so much. Like seriously, every time I see it, I just think of Buso Renkin. <laughs> energy Release! You can't tell me you don't think of Buso Renkin when you see that. But yeah, this is a pretty cool door. He's, it's very fast, despite being so huge. And I love it because of that. I love it because of that. It makes people like Shell Shock a complete non-issue. Shell Shock, I can't really give that much of a strategy because there's not much to him, to be honest. I mean, I think he can, he can like, stop you with his stoplight, and, like, he can do certain things to stun you, but he's not that hard. Especially with the Dragon Zord in fighting mode. Stage clear. Oh, yeah. My next monster is unbeatable! Be prepared for the worst! 
God damn, Rita, we can hear you straight from the moon. But anyway, guys, in the next part, in stage six, we're going to be taking on Paluticorn. Yep, and in the next part, you're going to be able to see Tommy Oliver in action. Stay tuned, guys. Z-Boy X8, out.